Um, our conversation with Michelle Jordan and friends uh, from the Ark of Indiana County brought to you by Marcus and Mac voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. And you do, Michelle, you brought guests with you today. I did. So yeah. we've had Becca here before, but uh, mm-hmm. this is my advocacy and program coordinator, Becca Boston. And then I brought uh, my summer intern, uh, Tarina Yangu, uh, was the IP graduate. Ah, she just graduated, huh? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. In what? What's your Disability major? services. Disability services? Yes. Terrific. What's the plan? Oh, wow. The plan is to go back to Philly mm-hmm. and... Find a job that works with children. Yeah. Something something wholesome. There you something go. Nice. There you go. I like good it. people. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You'll put her to work this Absolutely. Summer, right? She's she's already learned a lot, I think, already. Right, <laughs> <laughs> well, Becca so. can show you the ropes too. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what are we talking about today, Michelle? Yeah, so I know there's just, always something. Just I wanted to give a little bit of a, a, a shout out, a, a thank you to everybody who attended at our 50th gala. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. Uh, The Hilton always does such a fantastic job, so a shout out to them. Uh, Jay Paterno as the the keynote speaker was fantastic. Um, But we want to thank all of our sponsors, First Commonwealth Bank, um, and the the, uh, different sponsors that sponsored tables so our families could could attend. Mm -hmm. Um, But it was a heartfelt night. Uh, uh, Parents speaking, self-advocates speaking, uh, awards for our founder uh, and our previous executive director. So it was just a fantastic night. So we I want to you. send a, sh- a shout out about that. Um, the ARC has a lot going on in June. So we wanted to uh, set up June for the community and let the community know everything that we're doing out in June. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, just because it's uh, the end of the school year and summer is, a, is, is soon coming, uh, doesn't mean that the ARC is not stopping any activities or uh, slowing down at all. So we want to make sure that community knew what we were doing next. Yeah. All right. And and I'm sure Becca is involved in Taurine too. She is. She is. So one of the main things uh, that we are doing is we're partnering with um, area group homes to bring about uh, our first community uh, inclusion awareness day. Mm-hmm. And that will be June uh, 15th. It is during the week. Uh, we're kind of piggybacking off of the uh, Thursday happening at the IRMC Park. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we will be from 10 to 3, and it will be uh, providers, organizations, agencies setting up at IRMC Park uh, to help the community uh, know more about the services in the area for individuals with disabilities mm-hmm. and what all we do uh, and the services we provide. Um, I know that uh, group homes are still being purchased in the area. So it's, it's, it's understanding how group, home work, group homes work, how the providers in our area work to support our individuals, mm-hmm. that we want them to be home-based. So we want them to be in the community. That's where they flourish. Yeah. And so that takes a community effort in, in the sense of understanding your neighbors, understanding how, how a group home works, understanding then the support systems that are in place to make a home-based community successful. So that's the third Thursday event? It is. Yeah. It is, yeah, from 10 to 3. Uh, and so we'll just all be out there. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, hopefully it will be a beautiful day and we won't have pouring down rain. But I probably just jinxed us. But anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a great day. So yeah. we, we want to invite the community out. We'll be there all day. It is for um, – it's free to any provider that uh, that wants to set up a table. Mm-hmm. Um, just contact uh, Tabitha Bushinsky at the Community Options um, uh, Inc., Mm -hmm. Uh, If you just Google that, you'll be able to find her number. Uh, But we also have that number here at the ARC as well. So Yeah, and and Becca, have have the two of you practiced your song yet and your dance? No. No, (laughs) You've not done that part yet? (laughs) (laughs) Can't fool them a bit, can I? Try try my hardest, but I just can't fool them a bit. Right. So that so that is coming on the fifteenth. Um, we are actually having uh, we're working with the uh, South Central uh, uh, Center for Independent Living uh, to promote healthy relationships. You know, Todd, our individuals uh, are also one of the highest risks of being victims mm-hmm. and victimized. And so we want to we want to promote what healthy relationships looks like. Uh, and so our first uh, training is actually for professionals and agencies. That's on June seventh at the Arc, <coughs> and that is free. Uh, and that will be held uh, by the SIL, um, a trained professional doing that uh, training from 8.30 to 3.30 p.m. Um, sign up, just uh, uh, 
uh, give us a call or we can also set you up with a SIL to register for that uh, that event. Uh, and in uh, the future, we'll have one for, for families and caregivers and then one for individuals themselves mm -hmm. about healthy relationships. Um, and also, our, our big thing also in June is our kickball game, uh, Todd. So we have a fundraiser coming up. I remember that from last year. Absolutely. It was very popular. We're very excited uh, that we're doing it again this year. It's June 17th at uh, Optimus Park. So we actually have uh, use of those four fields, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. It'll be from 9 to noon. Uh, reach out to Becca uh, to register a team. Uh, the team to beat this year is the Indiana Borough Police Department. So uh, they kicked everybody's butts last year. Uh, so <laughs> they did a fantastic job, even with a, defla a deflated ball. I gave them a deflated ball to try to, you, you, to to help the odds of the other team, and they still kicked everybody. She tried butt, to so. fix it. Back I up? did. I did. You um, to. <laughs> they were they, that good. They were kicking it out of the park. But yes. Yeah, so, uh, uh, but this year yeah. there won't there won't be any deflated balls, and uh, we will be uh, on target. Uh, we will have uh, medals and awards uh, for the different teams and different mm -hmm. tiers of uh, competition. So. We're really excited about it, and um, uh, there is a registration fee, uh, but everybody gets a T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually all online, uh, the registration uh, it's at our uh, website, which is uh, arcindiana.org. Mm -hmm. uh, so please check that out. And, uh, and even if you want to come out and be a spectator, uh, who doesn't like to watch a bunch of adults running around acting like kids playing kickball? I so. have no idea who doesn't like that. <laughs> I keep trying to draw Becca into this conversation. Becca, how many people on a team? Um, we can have eight to ten. Mm -hmm. We have eight on the field at a time. Okay, eight on the field at a time, yes. but eight to ten mm -hmm. on the team. Okay, see if we got her. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And, and, and these two will pretty much probably be running the kickball game. So uh, yeah. uh, we will uh, be going to them for all the questions and, uh, and rules. And also, you guys, so. are, you're both um, boning up on the rules here, so you know oh, the, yeah. all the kickball rules. We're getting there. Yeah, we're working on it. Make sure right. each team knows the rules. <laughs> you're making them up as you go, aren't you? Oh, no. No. No, no we the, can't You're do going that. by the official kickball rules. Some of these teens were a little, uh, yeah, hardcore, so we got to make sure we stick to the, the book. The International Kickball <laughs> Regulation League. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. And then also our dental clinics uh, that we're continuing, um, Todd, and then mm -hmm. the next one is June uh, 15th from 11 to 3, so also helping uh, the disparity with health uh, that's happening in the area and providing that dental clinic at the ARC. So someone who is developmentally uh, disabled uh, who needs dental care, this is open to all of those folks? It is at any age, but they also specialize in elderly uh, and young children. Uh, uh -huh. And so um, they, they really do a fantastic job. They set up in our conference center. Uh, they do checkups. They do referrals. Uh, they take any insurance. And it's just as simple as texting to our, to a number here mm -hmm. um, to be able to reserve that. And that number uh, is uh, text ARC to 724-858-9295 to reserve your spot. Say that number again. Yeah, so it's 724-858-9295 to reserve your spot at the okay. dental clinic. So you do have to have an appointment. Uh, yes, you have to have a re slot. reservation, correct. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah. so those of you who are out there wondering about dental care for your child or your adult uh, who is in need of dental care and uh, might might have had a difficult time with it in the past, these are folks who are set up specifically for that purpose. Yeah, and it's online, uh, Golden On-Site Dental that, that comes. It's a mobile dental uh, clinic out of Pittsburgh, so they do okay. a fantastic job. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. Okay, so that's a pretty active summer that you've outlined for us here. And hopefully doing a spirit of food in July, so yeah. <laughs> class, cooking yeah. class. So yeah, yeah, I said summer. We've only, we haven't even gotten through <laughs> June with this. Yeah so. yeah, so you folks are really, really busy, and that's a good, good thing. So for folks who want to become involved in ARC programming, uh, um, uh, somebody who has somebody who could use the services, somebody who maybe has something to offer to ARC in terms of what they can do for you, what should they do? Yeah, so, you know, we're located on the corner of Water and Fifth. Uh, you can come into our office any day. We have lots of resources and support in, in the office uh, uh, itself. But you can also go to our website, check out all the resources we have there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's contact um, uh, boxes that you can let us know your concern or, or a need that you have. Um, you can also call us at 724 
Our office hours are for 8.30 to 4, Monday through Friday. Uh, but we, we, we have so many tiers of levels of support, uh, Todd, from educational advocacy to parental support, like, like we had our parents meeting last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we have so many different tiers of support. So uh, anybody that would like to get involved or volunteer, uh, Becca, of course, uh, heads up that department. Uh, with uh, being the program coordinator. It's a good thing you have Tareem with you because mm-hmm. uh, that's the only way yeah, to get all this done. Helpful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we always need interns, so we're always interested in interns as well. So yeah. they, they are a huge help to the ARC. So, Ter- yeah, terrific. yeah. Wonderful. You're doing some really good work, and we appreciate it. Thank we you so much. We appreciate you coming by to visit us today, too. Did you walk? No, we did not. You did not walk? We drove. We drove. Oh, we drove. We should have walked. Should have walked. Should have walked. I expect you to walk next time. We walk to lunch quite often. There you go. You walk to lunch? (laughs) Well, that's walking, too. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming by to visit with us today. Thank you so much, Todd. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. If you do happen to be out walking today, you've got the weather for it. We're going to have a hazy, sunny day today with temperatures getting up into the upper 70s. 77 is a projected high. The temperature in downtown Indiana right now this morning is 57. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com.